face protect you from this now on saturday chinese officials reported that it's their highest death toll in a 24-hour period there's 46 new deaths reported raising the death toll to 259 2100 new cases reported in the country within a 24-hour period which raises the worldwide total to 12,000. and it's said here uh, that the vast majority of cases are inside of china but there's about 100 cases confirmed in 21 countries should you be freaking out if you're not in china no not necessarily. There's actually no deaths outside of China reported to the coronavirus. According to NWA Online, it's stated here that the coronavirus has actually surpassed the number of confirmed cases compared to SARS, which was the outbreak that happened between 2002 and 2003. Let's talk about the face masks that you see people wearing in China or all around for protection from the virus. Can this protect you from infection? Uh, you know, I used to work in the hospital for many years and anybody that's worked in any of those kind of environments that's used those masks can tell you that it offers very little protection. Uh, you know, according to this article here from this Dr. David Carrington, he stated that routine surgical masks for public are not effective uh, protection against viruses and bacteria carried in the air because they're too loose, very loose. I mean, just all kinds of stuff breathing out of the sides, the top, uh, has no air filter and they leave the eyes exposed. You can get a mask that actually gives you like a face guard for your eyes, like a plastic shield for your eyes. Uh, what you want to get, if you really need to protect yourself and you're worried, you have to get the N95 masks and you got to make sure you have it on the right size. And when you have this on, I used to wear it for the ivory room. I used to wear it for chemo, pediatrics, uh, making IVs. It's a really tight mask. You, you put in the right size. It has a filter in there. Uh, so it protects you. And also it, it has a filter. So it protects you from breathing in stuff like particles. And it also protects you from if you sneeze or cough from it going out. So it keeps things in. It's not full proof, but you can definitely tell the difference. It's even harder to breathe. And after a while, your mouth gets very dry from all the dry filtered air that you're breathing in and out constantly. So I used to work for several hours, you know, in the ivory room and you have that mask on. It's just, you know, it's just dry air and it just dries out your throat and all that stuff. So it's a huge difference. Let's talk about Trump a little bit and the administration. They face some criticism from Beijing slash China over the travel bans. Foreign nationals other than immediate family of U.S. citizens and permanent residents who have traveled in China within the last 14 days will be denied entry into the United States. You know my thoughts on that. I've already said it in my previous video. Shut all the borders, close everything down. It doesn't mean we can't aid, we can't send aid, or people want to go over there and help and suit up and go help. Go ahead, but close all that stuff down because we need to protect ourselves. And anyway, Australia also did the same thing. They joined in and they barred foreigners uh, who have recently visited China to come into the country. Uh, Vietnam barred almost all flights from and to China also. North Korea, they did it gangster too. North Korea offered their aid and condolences but kept its border closed. Now, this doesn't mean that they're not letting American citizens come back into the country. It just means that if only if you're like an American citizen or you have like an immediate family member uh, they can come. And then if you've been into those areas, they're going to put you on some sort of quarantine from 14 days, which is the incubation period. Bat soup, coronavirus. Now, there was a lot of media organizations reporting that people were stating that coronavirus came from bat soup. Bat soup is an interesting thing, okay? It's from some cultures out there. According to Wikipedia, bats are a food source for humans in some areas. Bats are consumed in various amounts in some regions, China, Vietnam, whatever that says, Indonesia, Palu, Guam, and in some other African, Asian, and Pacific Rim countries and cultures. There were also some media companies saying that it was R-A-C-I-S-T, the R word. And I was just like, how? But maybe there's other people saying certain things, but it's just factual that people in some of those regions eat bats and bats are 
carriers of disease. According to Wikipedia, it's been long speculated that megabats are a natural reservoir for Ebola, though the evidence has been called far from decisive because of the possible association between Ebola infection and hunting, butchering, and the processing of meat from infected animals. Several Western African countries banned bush meat, including megabats, or issued warnings during 2013 and 2016 epidemic. Many bans have since been lifted. The wildlife trade of bat meat has been hypothesized as the possible origin of the new coronavirus, which was first detected in December 2019. It's also reported here as far as toxins that eating fruit bats are linked to neurological disease called lytical bodig disease, which according to Wikipedia is something that's similar to ALS, Parkinson's, or Alzheimer's. There was another report here too that found bats consume large quantities of something called cyad seed. Uh, and that appears to accumulate toxins in the bat's body to dangerous levels. If you missed out the previous video I did on the coronavirus, make sure you check it out right there. I did a really good job of breaking down the origins. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe. I appreciate you guys for the support. Take care of yourselves and peace.